What's up guys, my name is Brandon from Style So Dapper and uh, today I'm going to be talking about the Seiko SKX009 and pretty much all the SKXs in general. If you're new here, at this channel I talk about men's fashion, style, grooming and sometimes I do unboxings of men's subscription boxes. So if you're interested in that, I highly encourage you guys to definitely subscribe and hit that bell icon because I'm dropping new videos every week. So one of my favorite watches that I own is the Seiko SKX, which is the one I'm wearing right now, as you guys saw. But the reason why I love this watch is because it's a well-respected timepiece throughout the watch community all over the world. And it's pretty affordable and it's been around for a really long time. So I wanted to make a video about it, how versatile it is. And if you're looking for like a more luxury piece, but not like a Rolex, something cheaper, but not like Timex cheap, which Timex, Timex, Timex are good watches too. They serve a purpose. Cheap and they look pretty nice. I would suggest the Seiko SKX, which this particular one is called the Pepsi Dial. And some of the features that this watch has, aka complications, is uh, the first and most notable one is the fact that it is a certified authentic dive watch. And it goes up to 200 meters as it says on there. I mean, that's, that's awesome right there. You can put this on and literally wear it everywhere all day and never have to take it off. Ocean, pool, if you are a diver, you can dive with it. You know, that, that's a big uh, selling point for me. And it's got the, the, uh, the day, I don't know if you guys can see it, it's got the day and the date time on it, which is another benefit. And it also has uh, this bezel which again, I don't really know what the bezel does because I've never researched it and I've never used it. I'm, I'm, it has something to do with how, how much air you have left, I think, and how deep you're going, something along those lines. But if I ever was to go diving, I would learn about it and I would use it. Hey, that, those are great reasons for me. For the guys who are watch gurus and want to know the movement, I had to look it up and it is the... 7S26 movement, which I do know is an in-house movement for Seiko, which is another plus. And it's, it's, it's a reliable movement, but not the greatest. It's like a workhorse for Seiko. So you can't go wrong with that. The watch is a uh, 42 millimeter diameter, which, uh, oh, 42 and a half, 43. It's 42 and a half, but I just say 42 which is a, a pretty decent size. I mean, it, it, you wear it on your, wa uh, your wrist, it's gonna get noticed, because it's pretty thick too. But I like that, so I have no problem with that. You could wear it with a suit if you put a nice leather strap on it. Without a doubt, you could pull that off. And the lug nuts, which would be the spring bars and the strap sizes is 22 uh, millimeter, which is a pretty common size. And I'll show you guys like some straps that I have and how versatile you can get and creative you can get with the straps, especially NATO straps. And I'm a NATO strap slut. I love NATO straps. Can't get enough of them, really. But uh, I'll show you guys what those look like and show you a couple combinations of the watch with some different straps. And if you want to know how much the watch cost, uh, let's look it up because I've had this watch for about a year. So let me look it up on Amazon and tell you guys how much it currently is as of October 23rd, 2018, how much that watch cost. So you guys can see if, it, if it'll focus. There we go. As you can see, there's many, many different options that you can get. It goes for about $200 to $220, which is pretty cheap for a pretty reliable and respected watch like that.
If you're looking to buy your first watch, I would suggest going with the all black one, which is the 007. Just remember James Bond always wears a black tux or black suit, uh, black face, all black, because that way you don't have to worry about colors and things like that. I just like the Pepsi bottle, the Pepsi color, which is a knockoff of the Rolex. Let's just be real here, but I'm probably going to buy the other one as well because I love them both and I love black and I love the Pepsi dial. Let me give you guys a couple of uh, websites that I use to buy the different straps. And this is not a sponsored video as you guys probably can already tell, but the first website that's like my main website I go to for the NATO straps is bluesharkcom Blue without the E, B-L-U shark.com. And they have, uh, I mean, great quality uh, NATO straps and they have different levels of like prices you can go. I think they're like 20 to $25. They got some that are a little bit more expensive, but great, great straps. And for the leather straps and other different types of straps, you can get the, the, um, the Jubilee bracelets and things like that is holbens.com, H-O-L-B-E-N-S, holbens.com, another great, great website, which they have expensive leather straps and they got you know more affordable brands. You should definitely check them out. And if you wanna go a little bit cheaper, I would try Wrist Candy Watch Club, which I'm sure if you're watching this video, you've heard of them, because that's sponsored all over YouTube. But they're a good website and they have, they have uh, uh, pretty good straps as well. So you guys should definitely check out those three if you're looking for new straps. Here are some of the wash straps I was talking about. Many different colors you can get and, and patterns and color combinations. I mean, you got look at this. Straps on straps on straps. I got more. That's a lot of straps. But if that's not your thing, leather straps, rubber straps, and you know cool little straps like this which is just like a, a leather combo with canvas this is a great strap too you've got rubber you've got different color uh leather straps super versatile on how you can put everything together so i mean that's about it guys that's that's uh, i just want to give you guys a little bit of a taste of my favorite watch and a little bit of review it's a great watch had it for about two years probably probably like a year and a half Never had any problems with it. Highly advise getting that watch, especially if you're just getting into watch collecting or you're looking to buy a pretty decent watch. I would suggest getting that one. And as always, thanks for watching. If this is your first time here, remember to subscribe and join my Instagram and my Twitter.